And guess what? We don't have any power. Ah! Women wear panties, men wear underwear. I feel like I'm the total disaster. The best that they make. If you want flowers, buy them for you. Engineer wins over dentist. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> oh, training around! Hello, hello. So I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee that William made me. Uh, before he went to talk to electrician guy because the guy uh, a little bit pissed for some reason well what reason today's Saturday and he had to come and fix our electricity and the marinas are closed anyway so why are you people here and all those things like that uh, I'm gonna be cutting my nails while I'm talking to you and um, yeah it's a funny thing before we started to live on the boat I could not and that's probably going to be funny for the girls uh, I could not not have my nails not done because I would just not feel right uh, maybe that's my Russian culture yeah but we always have to have our nails done since we started to live on the boat I have no nails done whatsoever all I'm using for my nail care is this beautiful tool well, these are my floating nails, which is kind of gross. So we came back after boat yard, back to our beautiful boat. And guess what? We don't have any power. Why is that? Mr. Engineer gonna to figure out right now, after he goes to bathroom. Someone needs to clean the kitchen. I have this kitchen spotless. I'm good in major cleaning. I also like to delegate something that something can do better. If you did this beautiful kitchen spotless, why should I? <laughs> you know, all those great things I'm trying to say, I can't really sucks. Like, I, I forget the words when I'm trying to construct my phrase. I see that. That's what keeps our communication going so well. I'm taller than you at least. <laughs> Laying down or standing up? My intellect level. <laughs> problems with wild bells. He throws them all the way around, so I have to pick them up. He also throws his t-shirt around. So you have to check the breaker. So how you check the power? Take the side of the cover off and see whether there's power to the, uh, to the dock box. Sounds dangerous. Definitely should do an essential boat toolkit video one day. Just when all people buy everything in the aisle of tools. Then you'll have almost a tool. Who's training around? <laughs> you should not ever work with electricity when there is rain or any kind of moisture slash water, right? Our wife never believes that I know when it's going to be raining or not. She's like, it's not going to rain. No, we're going to get any rain. Just for your information, my voice doesn't sound like this. Oh, my God. With an accent. When I ran into the rain, I was sure I'm gonna get wet, but I dry, dry as a rock. No, dry, dry as a um, as a what? Dry as dry as a duck in the rainstorm. William tells me. Write in the comment the best the best dry as option. I'm showing William 
the burnt pan that I accidentally forgot. I was steam I was steaming beans and I forgot to put water in it. And uh, he thought it's mold. And I explained to him that it's not. It's a burnt pan, it looks like. <laughs> I hope my granny doesn't watch this. Hopefully my husband doesn't watch this. <laughs> So we don't have power yet and it's morning and William just talked to a maintenance guy from the building and the guy is very unhappy and he said that there's going to be no power till Monday. Now we are running generator and let's ask Mr. Smarty Panties if there is any kind of solution. First of all, <laughs> there aren't any Smarty Panties on the boat. Women wear panties, men wear underwear, sometimes. We will probably take an extension cord, 110 volt, run it to one of the other slips that has power, bring it here and attach it to just the inverter charger, mm -hmm. because that way, provided the battery stay charged, mm -hmm. the inverter will work, and effectively we have whatever we need. Ooh, it's high up. That's just for the phones? That just gets power to the phones. It'll get us They make adapters for this where you can plug 110 volts in and go to a 30 amp. This is a 50 amp boat going to 230 amps. I don't ever recommend people use those adapters. They melt extension cords, they cause issues, but in, in an emergency, that's what you have to Anything do. Anything is working, yeah, if it's working, right? Well, electrically I know how to get this operating but it's not a fix, it's only a temporary band-aid. Well, luckily for this boat, it doesn't have any issues. The boat has been perfect for five years. The issues are with marinas, power, things that aren't in our control. This has been our problem over and over again. Once we put something in the freezer, William says, it's okay, and I'm like, it's gonna be spoiled again because when something happens with power, the food in the freezer gonna unfreeze and then we have to basically wasted. I'm afraid that that's something that will happen again in 500 times. No. So you, so you say that if I'm gonna go to freezer now and check the meat in there, it's gonna be frozen like a rock? 100%. Mm, they're gonna check that now. Almost as hard as this head. <laughs> I can't even open it. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to give you uh, your <laughs> don't, victory no, just that easy, no. <laughs> I'm checking both of the fridges. You know what? It is frozen. Crap. Once the again. things are frozen. Um, once again, yes, William engineer, was right. Engineer wins over dentist. Today. <laughs> Something still smells nasty in there. Yes. You need to go check that out. It has nothing to do with the freezer. No, it's something to do with people. Cheese. You bought that smelly cheese. <laughs> William just got me this beautiful flowers. They're so nice, honey. <laughs> He's all red because he didn't buy them. I bought them for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was complaining. I'm not letting people know that if you want flowers, don't wait for your husband to buy your one. Buy them for yourself. And I'm trying to explain that in the United States, if you suddenly bring flowers to your wife and it's something you don't always do, it means you're probably having an affair. Well, let me know in the comments if you're right or I'm right. So a lot of you are accustomed to using these. Well, most people should. 
when you've got a 50 amp service at the marina or a 50 amp boat, you have the ability to plug this into the 50 amp end and then you have two 30 amps that split and go into the boat. You can do it the other way also. You can put two 30s and now you've got a 50. So this is a bi-directional couple. The issue is, is that over the years, people have been buying things that are not high quality. And when I say that is that this is a Marine Co. Marine Co is the best that they make. When you look at Marine Co, it's designed for marine applications. You'll also notice that in the Marine Co, you will have a very high dollar phenolic isolator. These last at least five years if, if lubricated and done properly. The alternate is this lower cost unit, which has a molded connector. And you can see what happens with the molded connector. If it doesn't have a good connection, it'll start to arc, it'll create heat, and finally what'll happen is you'll have one leg. You've got a neutral and you have a hot on each side. You'll have one leg go bad. When that happens, the breaker is gonna trip either at the dock box or the breaker is gonna trip at the main, which means that you just took out a very large part of all the docks. Bad connector low quality meant to last for maybe six months to a year but not long term i remember that our friend had something like that you told that it can even burn your boat it could also start arcing in the connection that goes into the boat so now rather than the end of the plug burning it could start burning on the end of the boat which happened to him it burnt out the hole inside so we had to remove the electrical connector we had to remove the wires and replace it with a alternate system that was made for boating so yes, it can happen on either side. It's an interconnection. The lesson is not to use things on the boat that are not meant for the boat. So if they are made for VR home, don't use them. Only use marine grade things if you can. Otherwise, you might run into problems that will cost you more than if originally you would use marine grade things. While we're recording all of this, I feel like I'm the total disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, everything is wrong I do. No, you'll learn after a little while. Yes, everyone who gets on a boat does it wrong. Boating is not like we assume. Who wants strawberry? No recording that. So funny enough, after trying to figure out electrical things, William found a drawing of how previous owners of the boat changed the wiring in 2007. Let's see what he thinks of that. We don't want to hear what I think of that. Ah! For going on six years, taking the inspection panel on and off of the boat, which is always underneath the lower helm station, removing it, putting it to the side, and working on the wiring. None of the wiring from the generator inverter was making any sense. The color codes weren't matching and the numbers weren't matching. So finally, after eight hours of temporarily getting this to operate properly, I'm going to move the panel and behind I find a treasure map. The new way is they cut these, old and new. They ran a line from the interface over to only a few of the outlets. That really hasn't fixed our problem, but it tells me how to troubleshoot it now. We have pretty cool neighbors. Just can't wait to get back on an anchor. I'm gonna be the one to do it. 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 I'm gonna be the one